Welcome back to Blam, where every week children come together to watch a Bible story and to praise God through music. My name is Margaret Love, and I serve as the children's minister at First St. Charles United Methodist Church. And today I'm wearing red because we are talking about Pentecost. Now, that's kind of a big word, but it is a story from long ago that we still celebrate today. It is during Pentecost that God gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit resides in each of us. You're going to learn more about that at the Bible story. But first, get up and sing and dance and play the air guitar to the song, A Whole New Level of Love. I'll see you after the Bible story. That's it for today. Comment tu t'appelles? Je m'appelle Sophia. Hi, Sophia and Rachel. You both sound like you're from another country. <laughs> We're practicing. I came to turn in my report. Great. Thank you, Rachel. What language were you guys speaking? It's French. We just came from French class, so we're practicing what we learned. That sounds like it would be difficult to learn. It takes a lot of practice. The disciples spoke in different languages, but it was because of the Holy Spirit. Many disciples came together for the Jewish celebration of Pentecost. For Jews, Pentecost is the first day of the Festival of Weeks. There would have been a lot of people gathering to celebrate in Jerusalem. Cool! While they were together, there was a great noise that sounded like the wind blowing through. Next, there were flames that sat on each of the disciples' heads. The disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they began speaking in other languages. 
there were Jews from every nation visiting Jerusalem. And when they heard the disciples speaking other languages, they gathered outside where they were meeting. The crowds were surprised to hear the disciples speaking in all of the different languages. How are they speaking our languages? What does this mean? Peter stepped out and reminded them about what the prophet Joel said many years ago. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young will see visions. Your elders will dream dreams. Peter began to describe that there would be wonders in the heavens and signs on the earth. Then he told them that anyone who calls on the name of the Lord would be saved. Peter told them that God worked miracles through Jesus, God's Son. The crowds were curious and wanted to know what they could do. Peter told them to change their hearts and lives and be baptized. Then God would give them the gift of the Holy Spirit. If I saw fire floating over us, I don't know what I'd do. But that sure was a great miracle. Yep. The Holy Spirit used the disciples to speak in languages they didn't even understand. You're right! Yeah! Thank you for sharing that story, Sophia. Before we leave, why don't you teach us a word in French? Sure! What would you like to learn? Can you teach us how to say goodbye? Okay. Goodbye is au revoir. All right, kids. Let's say that together. Au revoir! Great job! Do you know another language? Did you enjoy A Whole New Level of Love? It's a great song. And the confetti falling reminds us that it is the birthday of the church. Did you enjoy the Bible story? The Bible story was really fascinating, right? They spoke about the Holy Spirit as being a violent wind and having tons of fire. Did you see the flames above the people in the story? Now, I don't know anything about that Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit I know about has many nicknames, comforter, advocate, or helper. The Holy Spirit resides in all of us and helps us to make good choices, to do God's work, to live as Jesus taught us. Now I know sometimes we don't listen to the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit is speaking to us and telling us the right thing to do. Sometimes we make bad choices. Yeah, that's because we're human. But it's very good if we can listen closely to the Holy Spirit. Did you like the question from the kids in the video? They were speaking about the different languages that people can speak. Do you know another language? Can you say your name or count or speak in another language? That's so very cool. In the video today, they were speaking French. Do you remember that the French word for goodbye was au revoir? My name in French is Margaret Dulamour. It is great to know lots of different languages. And in our Bible story, they were speaking in many tongues, and that means different languages. I hope you'll take a moment today to look at the Bible story in Acts. It is so good to spend this time with you. I'll see you next week.